Teachers and union leaders cheered after the Flint Community School Board voted to ratify a settlement agreement. Many agree the settlement is a step in the right direction, but more needs to be done, especially in Lansing. They want more support from Lansing lawmakers when it comes to funding more money for teachers. Superintendent Kevin Jones telling me the district gets a lot of grant funding, but it can only be used in specific ways. We have been in touch with some of uh, our senators, talking to them to tell them our story and, and the needs that we have. We absolutely want to uh, find ourselves in Lansing. Flint Community Schools Superintendent Kevin Jones says the state needs to allocate more money to schools. His district received nearly $156 million from the federal government during COVID. Jones says they use that one-time money to upgrade schools and pay teacher bonuses. When it comes to raising pay, he says the funding needs to be a mainstay. The teacher in front of the student, we can talk about a book, we can talk about uh, other intervention programs. The best intervention you're going to find is the one that is breathing and speaking to teachers right in front of them. So why not use federal or, or state funding to support that effort. The State Board of Education President Dr. Pamela Pugh says it's not just the Flint District that needs support, it's districts across the state. It is a must that uh, lawmakers put our children first, prioritize our children, and that has to take place in Lansing because we cannot continue to blame the local districts. Historically speaking, Governor Gretchen Whitmer has signed some of the largest investments in the public school system. Her budget in 2022 and 2023 increased per student funding and added millions of dollars for school infrastructure. Are we seeing the benefits of money being put towards the public school system here? We are seeing the benefits, but we have to keep in mind uh, when you have this type of devastation that ha has happened for decades and we have educators and professionals who have left the, the profession. Uh, it's going to take uh, a lot for us to make sure we're getting those professionals back in the pipeline. Dr. Pugh hopes to see more programs to attract young people into the education field here in Michigan. She says it's also about paying teachers more money. There are several House and Senate bills focused on education that have not made it out of committee. They mostly deal with school safety and hiring mental health professionals. Right now, none deal with teacher pay.